welcome to my channel. My name is Amy and today I will be telling you 22-ish random facts about myself because narcissism. Okay, let's just jump right into it. I have a little copy book here with all my fun facts about myself. I am 25. Oh, oh my God, I was about to say I'm 23. Wow, I am not. I wish I was 23. I'm 25. I am five foot three, which I feel is a good size. I'm, I'm, I'm into it. I was born in October, so I am a Libra, which is funny because Libras are supposed to be very well balanced people, the symbol is the scales, and that could not be more opposite to me. I am not a well balanced person whatsoever. Actually, I'm a very all or nothing type of person. Like I'll decide like, okay, do you know what? I'm gonna start going to the gym and I'm gonna go six days a week. Or like out of nowhere, a year and a half ago when I decided I was gonna go vegan, I was like, guys, I'm going vegan, I'm doing it, cold turkey. And my whole family were like, Amy, this is, you, this is what you do all the time. Like, slow and steady. Just maybe cut out meat for now and then see down the way. So yeah, I'm not a very balanced person. The only broken bone I've ever had was this wrist, my left wrist, which I have a massive scar on because I had to get surgery. Basically, long story short, I was running backwards in a race and I fell and broke it. And when I went six weeks with a broken wrist before going to the hospital, Shame on you parents. No, it wasn't their fault. I just, I have a high pain threshold, so I genuinely just live through the pain, I guess. So yeah, I broke my wrist, had to get surgery on it. Next fact, I have had surgery twice in my life. Once for my wrist, and also I got my tonsils taken out about four weeks ago now. Next fact, I hate sad movies. Hate them, hate them. Don't see a point in them, don't understand them, don't get them, don't like them. What's the point of sad movies? What is the point? My opinion on sad movies is that life itself is hard enough. There's enough pain and suffering in the real world that I don't want to sit down and watch a two hour film that's gonna make me feel so sad and depressed by the end of it. I like to watch a movie that'll just take me away to a magical land and just make me happy or make me, you know, question things. But I don't want to be crying at the end of a movie. Okay, this next fact is gonna be quite controversial, especially because I'm Irish. So I actually don't drink tea or coffee. I know, I don't drink tea or coffee. The reason I don't drink coffee is because um, I'm very sensitive to caffeine. So when I drink coffee, it makes me feel like I'm on drugs and I, you know, I'm not into that. I mean, I already, I'm a pretty high energy person anyway. Um, so I, I don't, I don't need to be acting as if I'm on drugs day to day. I don't need it. I don't drink tea either just because I just, I never got into it. Um, I'm a big water drinker. I just drink water all the time. Which next fact, I don't like fizzy drinks. Yeah, I know, another, that's weird also. Um, I don't like fizzy drinks, except for beer. I can drink beer, which I'm getting drunk, so it's fine. Um, but yeah, ever since I was a little kid, I hated fizzy drinks. They're too fizzy, they like hurt my nose. Do you know what I mean? You'll, you'll drink it and then my throat is burning and then like the, the bubbles go up my nose and it hurts my nose. I don't like it, no. Next fun fact, I am extremely lucky to have traveled a lot in my 25 years. And I've been to 22 countries and I will list them out for you. I'm not like, I know this is gonna seem like I'm showing off. I'm not trying to show off. I just think this is a fun fact. I feel like, yeah, it's just a fun fact about myself. I have been to Australia, Canada, Costa Rica, Cyprus, Egypt, France, Guatemala, Indonesia, Ireland. <laughs> That's, I'm, I'm obviously putting that on the list. Malta, Mexico, Nicaragua, Norway, Panama, Philippines. Philippines is gorgeous. Portugal, Spain, Tanzania, Thailand, the UK, United States, and Vietnam. Fun fact number whatever. When I was 17 in 2011, I climbed Kilimanjaro with my dad. Kilimanjaro is the highest mountain in Africa. It's in Tanzania. And yeah, we went for two weeks. The climbing took, I think, about three and a half days or four and a half days. And then just took us a day and a half to, to climb back down. And it was one of the best experiences ever. It was amazing. And then we went on a safari and me and my dad get on so well. We are basically the same person. We are just the exact same person. So we get on really well. Um, so it was just the best holiday ever. There was no like arguing or bickering and the two of us were just always on the same. Like I would be about to say something and then he would say it or I would say something and he'd be like, I was just about to say that. It was, um, yeah, it was a good trip. 
Speaking of traveling, I have been bungee jumping. I went bungee jumping in Thailand and it was not like bungee jumping, you know, into a, like down a river or... Only what I can describe as like a, a crane into a, a swimming pool, so... Um, yeah, but it was, it was still really fun. I remember like, it's funny now thinking, I'm like, how did I do that while sober? If I even think now, I'm like, that is terrifying. If I even think of the thought of it, the thought of it is like freaking me out. Like just standing there, oh, I'm having to just like, oh, it's, it was so, it was, ugh. like even thinking about it now, I'm like, that was so scary. I was pretty much drunk on adrenaline the whole rest of the day. Like the adrenaline buzz I got from it, like honestly, I felt like I was drunk. It was mad, it was, it was great. But yeah, when you're at the very top, because you obviously have to jump off. <laughs> There's no jumping. The guy behind you just kind of tips you and off you go. It was, it was, it was crazy. I think I went blind for a minute, but um, that was amazing. Next random fact. When I was a little dote, when I was 12 in sixth class, I went to a school where there were houses. Lame. Kind of like Harry Potter. I basically went to Hogwarts. I basically was in Hogwarts. Um, and when I was in sixth class, I, was appointed house captain. Yeah, there you go. I was a little bit of a nerd in primary school. Actually, I was a lot of a nerd. When I was 16, I had my tongue pierced for a total of three months during the summer. And I hid it from my parents because I wasn't allowed to get it done. And then one day I forgot. So I used to leave the house put it in and before I'd come home, I used to take it back out. But still like time consuming, imagine the effort of that. But anyway, one day I think I forgot to take it out and my mom was telling me a story. I went like this, I went, <gasps> and I was like, shit. I was like, she definitely saw. And I just like ran into it, I took it out and I went back out and I was like chatting away and I was like, oh, I'm gonna go now anyway. And I just fled, just fled the scene. Went out, I was shitting it, shitting it. Then the next thing my dad rings me and he was fuming. He was like, where are you? I'm gonna come collect you. I was like, ah! You know when you're that age, you're like, dad is so terrifying when he's angry. Well, I don't know about you, but my dad, when he's angry, he's scary. Like, it's really funny, because now, me and my dad get on so well now, I can't imagine doing anything now at 25 that would cause him to be like, really, really angry, like yelling. But yeah, it's pretty scary. So yeah, that was a fun three months with my tongue piercing. Okay, the next fact is that I am blind. Really, really blind. Very blind. I'm wearing contact lenses right now because if I wasn't, I wouldn't even be able to see the camera in front of me. That is how blind I am. I'm, I'm super blind. I haven't wear glasses since I was 13, but I used to only wear them in school for the board. And then when I was 16, I started wearing them all the time. Um, I used to talk really fast, which maybe I've been talking fast this entire video. Maybe some people are watching me being like, no, you already talk fast. But I used to talk so fast that I had to like teach myself to slow down and talk slower because it was just insane. It was probably when I went to secondary school and I became really good friends with this girl, Leah, and she also is a really fast talker. So the two of us were just like, and people used to be watching us and being like, how are you even understanding each other? Okay, I'm gonna try and see if I can talk really fast. <clears throat> Okay, it's probably like when I was like 13 to 16, I just talked really, really fast and I just couldn't stop. And it was just like, oh my God, this is so annoying. And people would be listening to me and they'd be like, I don't even know what you're saying. And then I'm going, I, like, oh. <laughs> I, can't even, I can't even talk that fast anymore. But yeah, I used to talk really fast and then I would go out to like discos, discos, and no one could understand me. So I had to try and start speaking slower. And speaking of talking, another fact is I am loud. I'm a very loud person. My family can attest to that, 100%. I often am told by my family to keep the level of the noise down because I'm very loud. I don't know, but it's just like I have no awareness of my own volume of voice until someone points it out to me. So I'll be talking to my sister and she'll be like, Amy, I'm standing right in front of you and you're yelling. And then I'll be like, oh my God, I am yelling. So yeah, I'm very loud. I am non-religious, although I quite like the idea of Buddhism. I read a book once on Buddhism and it seemed, yeah, maybe one day I'll become a Buddhist. And um, another fact about me is I am studying journalism and I hate watching the news. <laughs> yeah, I hate watching the news. I hate reading the newspaper. I'm not interested in politics. I don't enjoy writing articles. And I mentioned I'm studying journalism. Yeah. I know that I should be interested, but uh, there are certain things I'm interested in. Brexit thing, not interested. Like I know it's a big deal, but every single day I'm just like, oh, I don't know what's going on. Generally news is very depressing. I think that goes along with, you know, also why I hate sad movies. So reading the news, it's just like, woman got raped, somebody got murdered. 
uh, mother of three children dies of cancer, another bomb went off in Syria. The environment has gone to shit because of humans being shits. Our economy is most likely going to turn to shit because of Brexit. It's just all very depressing and I know it's important. I know I should be aware. I know that. I know that. It's just a bit depressing, I think. So yeah, I kind of avoid it. But I am starting journalism, so uh, I don't know. Another fact about myself is that I am a commentator during movies. Probably a lot of people are going to hate that. I like commenting during movies. I have one sister that if I utter a word during a movie, she just will be like, Amy, shut up. She hates it. But then I have another sister who enjoys, you know, comments. Because she will make comments as well, which I like. Or will pause and be like, okay, we're both up to speed. What's going on? You get it, I get it, we all get it. You know, or if you have a question, I enjoy that. My dad is also a commentator during movies. As I said before, we're very alike. So that's where I get it from. Now, he takes it a step too far. He kind of tries to predict what's about to happen, which we're not into that. You know, we have to sometimes tell him to just keep, just turn it a little bit down. If I have to sit and be silent for a whole movie, it's torture for me. Um, I'm addicted to Google. I will Google any question that pops into my head, which is a lot throughout the day, which is A, helpful, but B, probably hindering, you know, my own ability to think about things for myself. Okay, and the last fact, I love Kanye West. I love him. He's, I mean, I have a lot of favorites, like artists, but Kanye West is one of my favorites. I love him, I think he's great. I know that people hate Kanye and they think he's nuts. Personally, I think he's a genius. I think he'd be one of those people that like, when he dies, that people are gonna look back and be like, yeah, he was a genius. I love his music. I think, I agree, he's nuts, but I love him. And that is the end of my facts video. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you find it interesting, learning these fun facts about myself. Do you know, every day that I come in here and I film a video, I'm just like, this is so narcissistic. It's so narcissistic. I guess I just like the attention. <laughs> Please let me know if you enjoyed this video and maybe one day I'll do another random facts video because there's a lot about me. Please subscribe to this channel if you want to see more videos and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.